Welcome to Electro Online. In this example, we have to determine whether or not they're looking for the number of permutations and the, num the number of combinations given a sample space where it contains the numbers from 0 to 9. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Those are 10 different numbers. And we're trying to find how many ways we can place seven of those numbers on one side and three of those numbers on the other side. And when it's first like this, when they're asking for how many ways they're looking for combinations. Order does not matter. So in this case, you decide if how many ways you determine from that that order does not matter, which means that they're looking for the number of combinations. And there's 10 numbers. And we're going to separate it in 7 and 3. So therefore, you can say that uh, k is equal to 7 or you can say k is equal to 3 and it really doesn't make any difference and then of course n is the total number of numbers in the sample space which is 10 and therefore the number of combinations when you have 10 numbers and you're going to place 7 on one side and 3 on the other well that will be the same as saying that you're looking for the number of combinations with 10 numbers you're going to place 3 on one side you get the exact same result and you'll see that in just a moment so here we'll say that the number of combinations with 10 numbers and 7 placed on one side is equal to 10 factorial divided by 10 minus 7 factorial times 7 factorial. And so when we work this out, 10 factorial divided by 7 factorial, that's equal to 10 times 9 times 8 because 7 times 6 times 5 and so forth is cancelled out by the 7 factorial. And then we still have 10 minus 7, which is 3 factorial. So divided by 3 factorial, which is equal to 10 times 9 times 8 divided by 6. Now we can simplify that a little bit more because 9 and 3 are divisible by 3. So this is 3 and this is 2. And then 8 and 2 can be divided by 2. This is 2 times 1. So uh, 2 and 1. So this is equal to 6 times 10, which is 60. So there's 60 different ways in which, which you can take seven of those numbers placed on one side and three of those numbers and place them on the other side. So now you say, well, how about if we do it like this? Well, the number of combinations with 10 different numbers when you place three on one side, that's equal to 10 factorial divided by 10 minus three factorial times three factorial in the denominator. But notice you get the exact same result because this is equal to 10 factorial divided by 7 factorial times 3 factorial. And again, 10 factorial divided by 7 factorial is equal to 10 times 9 times 8 divided by 3 factorial, which is equal to 10 times 9 times 8 divided by 6. And again, that becomes 3 and 2. This becomes 4 and 1. And whoa, whoa, I think I just caught an error. I divided 8 by 2 and I got 2. This should actually be 4, which means that this is equal to 120. Oh, wow, I'm glad I did it the second way because now I realize I made a mistake and this is also 120. So sometimes I do that and I'm glad I caught it. So here the answer is 120 in both cases. Again, my mistake was I divided 8 by 2 and I got 4. I divided by 2 by 2 and I got 1. So now we have the right answer in each case. 120 different combinations that take 10 numbers and divide them in two groups, one with seven and the other, the other with three. Order does not matter, otherwise the number of permutations would be much greater than that. And that is how we do that.